Hey guys, it's Kamakuno, and today I'm doing a review for Ultimate Spider-Man issue 7, so let's see what's going on with this issue. Let's talk about the cover first. I have to say I really love this cover, I love really a lot of the covers for this series. Even though it's just very simple art, simple concept, I really love that about this series. Uh, it's great art, very simple, and uh, something they did in not the last Ultimate Spider-Man, but the first Ultimate Spider-Man series, is they did the same thing. They did... Yes, it wasn't a big concept of, you know, Spider-Man's fighting this person or this is happening. No, it was just like this plain old Spider-Man on a flagpole or Spider-Man on a wall. You know, it was just beautiful art, but it, it didn't have to have a big concept about it. And uh, I thought that was really great for the series. And I, I like that they kind of continued that for the covers. Because I really love the art for uh, every cover so far from the series. And I can't wait to see uh, more covers from the series. So definitely great cover, but let's see what's going on with the story. So in this issue, we get to see um, Miles is just trying to get used to being Spider-Man and uh, trying to get used to his powers because he really does not know how to use them fully. But he's trying. He's trying his hardest and trying to be the best Spider-Man he can be. And he, he's, kinda, he's kinda upset that um, he doesn't have Peter to show him the ropes, but he's like, oh, how did Peter do all this? How did he keep this secret from his family? Did he keep this secret from his family? And how did he get used to being Spider-Man? How did he get used to using his powers? And how did he climb up a wall? So doing all these things, he's trying to get used to it. And he uh, runs into Red Omega. He tries to fight him. He's really winging it. Even though, probably from Red Omega's point of view, he's doing a kind of okay job. In his mind, he's like, oh my god, I can't do this, I can't do this. And I love that narration. He, like, you can see that, oh yeah, you know, I'm fighting him, whatever. But and then in the story, in the narration, as readers, we can see, yeah, he does not know what he's doing. But uh, I still, I thought that was great, and I love that about this. And also, we get to see um, Miles's uncle. We get to see a little bit more of a bad side of him, and I think he's gonna be a big villain for the series and him stealing stuff, killing people. And um, I think it's gonna be really cool to see uh, Miles and his uncle fight and I know that's gonna happen in the future. And I think he could be a big villain for him. I think the biggest villain for him actually. And I can't wait to see how that develops. And something I love about this story is that it's just a whole different story. It's, it hasn't been done before. And even though he has the title Spider-Man, he's not Peter Parker. He's a different character. And really, we just don't know what's going to happen. Who's going to be his arch nemesis? Who's, how's the story going to go? We don't have, you know, material and reading material for this character before this. He's a new character, new story, and we just could get more surprises with this character. And I have to say, he's one of my favorite characters So in um, the Ultimate Universe. And um, a lot, what a lot of people say in, in um, our advertisements in the comics, a lot of people love this character and was his their favorite new character for 2011. I have to totally agree. He's my favorite character that got introduced in 2011. Uh, loving his new story and I can't wait to see what happens next with him. I thought this issue was great. Just making him not say, oh, I can shoot a web, you know, I know how to do this. No, he doesn't know how to do this. He has no experience. And we see in this issue that he doesn't have experience. And um, he's trying to learn, even though people might say, oh, yeah, he's, he's pretty cool. He's pretty good. Red Omega. He might see him as a good fighter or at least knowing what he's doing. But in his mind and narration, we see that I have no idea what I'm doing. And I really like that about this issue. And um, hopefully we get to see that in more issues and see him grow slowly. You know, not saying, oh, I could swing on a web. I know how to do that. So yeah, you know I swing on a web, but you're not going to be great at it. And I think slowly he should progress. Say, you know what, now I am getting used to this. And um, I hopefully they stick with that because I'm liking that he is a new character and he's new to Spider-Man and he's getting used to it. So uh, definitely a good issue. Um, I have high expectations for next issues uh, to come and I'm excited to see what this character brings. And um, if you haven't been reading um, Ultimate Spider-Man, Miles Morales... He's different from Spider-Man, but he's still a great character. He's a different Spider-Man, and um, for the Ultimate Universe, like, you can never replace Spider-Man for um, the regular universe, but for the Ultimate Universe, you could pull anything. And uh, I'm glad that they did to see this new character, to get a new Spider-Man. I think that's cool. We could get still see Peter Parker as Spider-Man, of course, in the real universe, in the... Uh, 616. But in the Ultimate Universe, we're going to see... You know, someone else becomes Spider-Man and um, see what happens. And a totally different character. And just see um, how his story progresses. Again, with his uncle, I think that's going to be really great to see what happens next. 
Um, the only thing I didn't love about this issue was, um, I felt like, uh, Red Omega wasn't the right villain to fight. I thought maybe, alright, you are trying to go slow, and I see that. You're trying to make his, uh, career go slow, and again, like I said, he's not gonna be the best Spider-Man in the first couple issues. But, um, I thought maybe you should have done, like, a purse burglary, or, you know, something very small, not Red Omega, you know? Even though he's not a big popular villain, uh, he's still a big, he's still a villain, you know? I think we should have, like, a, a you know, a, a jewel thief, you know, something like that. Someone very small, very little. Um, I think that would have been a, still a challenge for Spider-Man, but maybe she's saying, oh, yeah, I could do this. And then Omega, uh, Red, uh, Red Omega could come in another issue and say, oh, wow, I can't do this, you know? So I, I wish they did that. But, uh, what can you do? I don't think it was that big of a deal. But, um, the only thing, again, uh, another thing I didn't really like was the art. I really loved the art from the beginning issues. Very similar to what we had from the first, um, uh, Ultimate Spider-Man series. And I love that. I love the first Ultimate Spider-Man series. So different from what we had from the regular universe. And, um, I'd say this is a little bit more cartoony, this series. Um, well, this issue and uh, I think issue before we had this also um a little bit more cartoony I, I if, if I saw this from the first issue I'd be like oh yeah this is great art this is good art but seeing what we had from the first issue and changing it to this it's very cartoony and doesn't compare but uh still good issue very solid issue give it four um loving this character can't wait to see what happens next and I'm glad that with this series we are going to get a lot of surprises because he's a new character and we just don't know what's going to happen. And I can't wait to see how he progresses as Spider-Man and in this universe. And um, I'm excited. And I, I say pick up this issue, pick up this series if you're not reading it. And this is Comic Uno. I hope you enjoyed. In the description below, um, I'll have a link for my Twitter. Please follow me on Twitter. I have um, comic book news, uh, reviews I'll be doing, topic videos I'll be doing. And also, don't forget to follow my other Twitter, The Rant Situations, um, which is for my other YouTube channel. And uh, that will just have news for my other videos on that channel. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this four stars. Good issue. Solid issue. This is Comic Uno. Hope you guys enjoyed. I say pick it up. See you guys.